happened. A lot of huge news came out of Comic-Con. And one of the bigger stories that came out, I was going to try to relegate it to a quick hit because we talked about the trailers earlier, but it's going to get big. So at Comic-Con, uh, the X-Men Apocalypse panel came out and they finally told us who the four horsemen were going to be. We all know there was going to be four horsemen in there because you cannot have Apocalypse without having his four horsemen. So they, they told us which characters. It would be really awkward if you only had three horsemen. Just well, that would be weird. That would be pretty weird. But so they, they told us which characters are going to be, uh, you know, seduced into the Apocalypse four horsemen roles. And it's actually kind of surprising. Now, the one nobody is surprised about at all, Angel will be, uh, I believe, War. Yeah, he's war. Damn it, I should have written it down. No, no, he's death. I'm sorry. Angel is death. He no, will I was become say, war didn't make a lot of sense. To yeah, me. he's death. He's Angel is Angel death. Angel death. Oh. Yeah. So Angel will be death. He is going to be he's always been death. Uh, he's the big thing about him is that especially if you watch the cartoon in the nineties, he gets introduced, then gets seduced to be uh, over Apocalypse's side. And he gets those metal wings, which he's kind of stuck with even after he turns good. So Angel will more than likely be turned into Archangel and Death right there. So that's a definite. The next three were a little bit uh, more interesting. So one that's not too surprising is Magneto will turn into one of the fourth horsemen, four horsemen. Um, he never – actually, he does take over the mantle of war, I believe, in the comics at one point. Uh, you can rant about how I'm wrong about that down in the comments but uh he does become a fourth one of the four horsemen in the comics at some point so i know they needed to incorporate him in, into the story and he is on the villain side so it's not that far of a stretch to push him over to the apocalypse side and really if you look at apocalypse uh, his theme is he wants to get rid of all the humans because he only wants the best of all the human race which would be the mutants uh, to be survive and you know his world domination is to kill everybody but the mutants like if you look at the comics age of apocalypse he pretty much kills all the mutants i mean kills all the humans uh kills all the weak mutants and then genetically experiments on the, on the slightly stronger mutants to make them even stronger so magneto not too much of a stretch the two that i was really really surprised about are the next two we're gonna have storm and psylocke be the round out the four horsemen now psylocke is rumored storm. to be war um, which I believe she does take up that mantle in the comics at one point, but storm really was surprising because storm will be a teenager in this movie. Always just straight up good character. As far as I've, I've ever seen. Yeah. She has her moments and here and there, I believe, but she, she will be. And now th when they kind of explained a little bit more about that, you know, storm coming from the part of Africa, she comes from at one point, she is worshiped as a goddess, I believe she can control the weather and you know yeah. make rain and that's really important and she's always looking for that higher being because she knows she's not a goddess and so she's looking for that higher being um you know xavier kind of helps her out with some of that those issues so maybe she sees apocalypse as that higher being to herself and she takes over one of the roles now i'm not quite, quite sure which one she would be best in uh, but i'm guessing famine will be her her thing because Famine, Africa, I don't know. I'm just kind of... Because there's only so much left. It's, it's famine and pestilence. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, it, well, it, and Magneto, I can imagine being pestilence, using his magnetic something to spread uh, the pestilence. But Psylocke will be war. Um, she'll be played by Olivia Munn. And I'm not so sure how good Olivia Munn is an actress, as an actress. So that'll be interesting. But Psylocke is a really cool character. Is Holly um, Grace returning as uh, Storm? No, no, it will, it will be new, new late, new girl playing Storm because she's supposed to be a teenager in this movie. A lot of the original X Men will be teenagers in this one. Like Jean Grey will actually be played by Sansa from uh, Game of Thrones. Jubilee will be in this. She'll be a young teen. They're all going to be teenagers, Jubilee. I believe. Scott I didn't Summers really Jubilee was going to be in this one. That's, yeah, that's she cool. she will be. Um, Scott Summers will be in you know Cyclops, and they're all teenagers at this point. Uh, Wolverine will make an appearance, even though I don't think he will be one of the bigger characters, but uh, look for, uh, you know, Mystique to be in there. Um, de definitely James McAvoy is going to be in there as Professor X. But it's going to be interesting to see how this all comes about. Are they going to really go back and show, you know, Apocalypse? Because Apocalypse is the oldest mutant out there. He's, like, thousands of years old, and he goes through periods where he just, like, falls asleep, and he's like, okay, now it's time for me to try to take over. Now the time is right. And I believe after the the shifting of time that's why he's going to come back because 
in the original storyline, you know, from X Men one, two, and three, which three got erased, uh, he doesn't show up, and it's like, why would he show up now? And it's because everything's been thrown into turmoil, turmoil with uh, Wolverine going back and changing the past. So we're gonna see how this plays out. I am excited to see the fourth Four Horsemen. Um, of course, Death is perfect with Archangel. War, Psylocke, I know that kind of fits. Um, I would almost rather see Wolverine's war, because I know Wolverine does become war at one point. And little known fact is Hulk, I believe, is war. Yeah, I mean, Wolverine does seem like an Ares kind of guy. So Yeah, like, yeah, you could just go on a rampage. And little known fact, Hulk does become war at one point, so that was pretty cool. But he's not in this movie. That's a total, total different, total different studio, different side of the of the field. But um, it will be interesting to see how Magneto works out. Again, I'm guessing pestilence for him and storm will be famine. So I'm curious to see how these work out. I do like the way this is shaping up so far, and of course, Brian Singer is involved. So I have every confidence that this will be a very good X Men. You know who should really be pestilence? Spider Man. Just saying, spreads disease like a spider. So he has to bite everybody to do that. I, I yes, and I don't think spiders spread disease. I think they just bite you and they poison you. They they could carry disease. They're not fleas, dude. They're, they they I don't think they carry disease. They're not mosquitoes. They carry fleas. Mosquito man, maybe. Yeah, I, I mean he does have that problem spider. where he turns into a giant spider. That's kind of he like does disease. turn into a giant. Spider. Maybe he has fleas. Then, and he was and then bitten. He... No, he was bitten by a spider and got the spider power. So it's like spreading. So he's making a bunch of Spider Man, <laughs> Spider Man and women. Yeah, like, you get bitten by Spider Man, do you become Spider Man, or is like a that vampire? That's a good thought. Hmm. Hey, Spider Man, why don't you go bite some people? Create is your that own why spider he has army. the full face mask so that he doesn't accidentally bite people and give them his own powers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that could be a, be a possibility. But let us know what you think. Uh, which one of these characters do you think is going to fit into which? Uh, of the four horsemen and what do you think it'll be best for him hit us up let us know comments down below of course at what's my face on twitter google plus facebook always good ways of getting a hold of us